Whenever the hyena appears in the snows of Kilimanjaro, they are associated with Harry's death. When Harry faces the realization of his imminent death, it comes with a rush of a sudden evil-smelling emptiness that the hyena slipped away on the edge of. And when the death actually occurs, it is the hyena that announces it with an almost human-sounding cry. Since it is with Harry's psychological state that the hyena is associated, it is not necessarily of Harry's physical death that the hyena is symbolic. It's more likely a symbol of the psychological deterioration and death that has already occurred because of his inability to act decisively for himself. Hemingway preaches his code of manhood in the snows of Kilimanjaro, and it reaches us like a moral lesson. In his world, the ultimate peak is attained by doing manly things, drinking, fighting, hunting, and using women as the highest, most worthwhile purpose on earth. Anything less symbolizes a life not renewable, renewable only by death. Therefore, with his manhood stripped away, Harry is left with no choice but to die. And with gangrene setting in his leg, he has now achieved a state of total comfort. His physical pain is nullified, and he is existing in a final form of living death, rigid, feeling nothing, and waiting to be taken. The final scene is Harry's post-mortem. In this afterlife dream fantasy sequence, Harry is saved by the long-awaited rescue plane by Crompton, undoubtedly an old mate of his from a, his treasured war adventures. Harry is taken away, alone, the wife is left behind, and it may be that Hemingway feels that death is an exalted state, which, by his code, means a distancing from deep personal relationships and a return to the old days and the old acquaintances, to vitally and manhood and braving the elements, the hardships in life. The snow and the mountains are symbolic as further reminders of Harry's irreparable damaged integrity. <laughs>